Today is Friday, the second day in week number nine. So that means at the end of today, you're getting into the third grade, the last grade of your learning contract number three. And if you notice that, well, the three grades of learning contract number three, you have already gone through two half, two thirds of this particular learning contract. And I'm so much encouraged when I look at your team-based discussion forum. Out of the six team-based discussion forums, five are already full of much details. And I, I'm very much encouraged by that. And then, when I look at the collaborations with the ER, it's a little bit sticky. None of you have actually started the collaborations with you yet. So my job today is to make sure that you need to get started with your collaborations wiki with the very last week of this learning contract because it's very important for you. So may I invite you to make the best use of today's time to turn on your team-based effort to get started with what you're going to do with the very last week of the learning contract number three with your proper proposal selected. Now before I pass the time to you to do your team-based discussions in class, allow me to take up a little bit of your time to make sure you understand. At the end of next week, you should be able to get started with your learning portfolio the very important project for the whole semester. And one of the very important things in your learning portfolio is that by the end of next week, that will be the end of the first 10 weeks in the semester. And based on our interest-based learning curriculum, each student in this class should have finished one topic of journaling, one topic of discussions with the learning partner in the first 10 week for each week. That means you should have 10 topics completed to get ready for your learning portfolio. Okay, because what we're expecting from each one of you is one topic per week, per person. Okay, if you look back to the first learning contract, the second learning contract, and the third learning contract, the design is something like that. And on top of that, starting from the second learning contract, you have a pair-based discussions, and the third learning contract, team-based discussions, and then the wiki, right? So these are the fundamental material you are going to gather into your learning portfolio. That is very important because learning portfolio is going to occupy 20 points of the semester form. And for those of you who ask me this very important question, you're not paying attention, let me tell you. No matter, okay, listen very carefully. This is a very important uh, teacher's moment. No matter how you did in your first learning contract, okay, when you look at the assessment criteria, okay, no matter how you did, as long as you submit your first learning contract material, I will give each of you full 10 points, okay? No matter how you did, okay? This is, this is an encouragement to make sure that you will have the best performance for your very last learning contract and the very last important project or learning portfolio. Remember what I said. I will consider the first learning contract as a warm-up period for you to seriously consider how your ability is. But as a teacher, no matter how you did it, okay, as long as you submit it, you got 10 points. Okay? So out of the three learning contract, each one costs 10 points, right? So as long as you submit it, you got 10 points. Now, if you did not submit it, I can guarantee. What I mean is when you submit it, you must submit it through the submission link, okay? As long as I can see your submission link there, 
You got 10 points. Yes, in the, in the over there, okay? Do you see the submission link for learning part number one? You submitted already, okay? Don't worry. Okay, as long as you submit it, you definitely will get 10 points, all right? This is the way it is. Now, in the second learning contract, you will start receiving my comments, that means feedback from today, okay? And the only, the only reasons why you have to take a look at my comment, and the only reason I didn't give you a grade in your first learning contract is because I need to tell you today, you got 10 points, don't worry much about it, okay? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Yeah. All right? But it does not mean you should not take my feedback and comments into consideration when you do your last learning contracts, okay? You will also have my comments for your second learning contract before, hopefully before next Monday, okay? And so before you submit your work by next Friday for your last learning contract, you should have two sets of comments from me, okay? Learning contract one, already got it, and learning contract two, you're going to get it in two or three days' time. So that means you should be well set to do your last learning contract. And then, what did I say at the very beginning today? I said, at the end of the last learning contract, it's time for you to do your learning portfolio. This is a free wit project. And the learning portfolio is based on the 10 topics you should have done in the first, second, and third learning contract because we can't. Each student is responsible for doing one topic per week, okay? Including the journals, including the discussions of the topic with your learning partner, and collaborations with you, with your learning partner, as well as with your team partners. That means when you enter the very last three weeks, okay, of the semester, which is called the learning portfolio period, you are very important person to pull together what you should have learned in this class concerning web technology and life. Okay? So make sure that you do not miss out the important things. So, having said that, and I can see that all of you are very much absorbed into doing your teamwork today, let me pass back the 20 minutes to you and then when 3 o'clock comes, I'm going to invite individual team to give a sharing of the work. You can start using 5 minutes first instead of 10 minutes, okay? And if you start using 5 minutes first, that means in the first half an hour, starting at 3 o'clock, each of the team will have 5 minutes. At the end of that, we'll come back to the second round. You have another five minutes per team. So it's good. Let me give the time back to you. I have to shut up. All right. All right. If you have questions, of course, you can raise your hand and I will come to you.
So Cookie, yes. Tiago, thank you. Kalei, yes. Right back. And then CC is not here today. Juliana is here. Yan Lam, Yan Lam, thank you. Wai Yan Yan, thank you. And then K, thank you. Jason, Jason, are you here? Okay, thank you. Hita, Josh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Jongma, thank you. Karen, thank you. Lisandra, thank you. Safiro, Safiro, thank you. Ladia, thank you. Tihin, thank you. Yongling, thank you. Wayne, thank you. Mario, thank you. Joe, yes. Jerry, yes. Kenny was absent. Richard, thank you. Davey, yes, thank you very much. You have 10 more minutes for your preparations. Very good. For those who came in late, may your team member inform you the core message of today, alright? Okay, please help inform your member the core message of today. Excuse me for a minute. Thank you. 
speak into the microphone, see if it works. Hello? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm Alessandra. And uh, I'm Hannah. Jerry. Jerry? I'm Cookie. Cookie. Yes. Welcome. So, we're going to talk about the social web today. So, do you guys know what the social web is? Social web, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, social web is a set of social relations that link people through the World Wide Web. And it's um, a platform for social interactions, which is the basis of a lot of our online activities, such as shopping, uh, surfing the web, learning, Googling stuff. That's also part of social web. And it's the social aspect of Web 2.0 because it facilitates communication and interactions between people with similar tastes. So, how many kinds of applications of the social web does the world have now? Uh, does anyone know how many kinds of the application of the social web? I think it's hard to tell because there are so many of them. So many of them. But what are they? Could you please give me an example? What are social apps? And here are some examples that we uh, use a lot. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, and WeChat. So do you guys know what is the purpose of the social web? Uh, first is for fostering social interaction and we can connect, connect people through the social web and we can make people stay in touch, uh, start businesses, make new friends or partners. Yeah, that's all. Wow, a lot. So let's uh, watch some video. I wish watch the video on the social app. Let's see what's happening. There is no sound. Got to be a reason. <laughs> Let's see. Sharing? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Learn something. Bye. 
I'll see you again next time with another surprise. <laughs> so, thank you team number four for a very interesting sharing on the social web as the topic. So, let's see who is the next team. Um, Juliana's team? Okay. Or, yes, right there, right there, yes. Yes, thank you. Hi, Diego. Hi, Professor. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take out the other power. It's okay. It's okay. I'll talk. I just will speak. Right, thank um, you. So, I'm Diago, the leader of the, uh, our team, the team number one. Okay. And she is the Lydia, and, and he, she is the community, community chore and the time keeper. Time keeper. Okay. And he, he is the Richard. Richard. Yes. And he is the inspector. Inspector. Mm. Okay. And she is uh, Wayne. Wayne. And she is the secretary. Secretary. Yes. Um, I'll compare the tech in the lecture too. Okay. And he is the Rachel office. Like the virtual office. And we have uh, three weeks to finish the letter three. Yes. And we have the different shape of the rate and then in the last week uh, we finished the topic question one. Okay. And we have the three and three questions on the topic. Thank you. And in this week uh, we finished two question topic. Uh, two, uh, two Two questions of talk, um, about the topic, okay. and in next week uh, we will finish the PowerPoint video and the report. Yes. And so far we have already finished three uh, meeting, and in the meeting we also have the record. The first record is the Lydia, and then is the Rachel, and uh, two is Rachel, then is the Yaku. Thank you. And the next meeting is the report in spring. Okay. So it's, it's my report. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please do not forget the wiki. Very important. All right. Okay. So you may pass the microphone to Juliana's team. Yes. Thank you. Team number? Team number three. Three. Thank yes. you. Um, uh, our topic is Introduction to IT and the Knowledge Society. Okay. Uh, we have we have um, three meetings. All right. Uh, yes. Since the proposal has been questioned, we have finished the first question. Okay. When we were finding information and discussing the question, and we defined more two questions of the first uh, Question one. Okay. Yes. Uh, these two questions are on the progress. Yes. And start from today, we are going to solve the second question. Okay. After class. Yes. That's, that's very good. Uh, we are looking forward to your further sharing yes. next week. Oh, okay. Uh, so could you pass the microphone to? Uh, yes, the table. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so just tell us something about your work here. Introduce your team number. Thank you, team number six. Yes, you can either sit down or stand up, it's up to you. Sorry. And we are team. And how we are team six. All right. I'm sorry, uh, we have some PP and the power. Okay. So, um, first, we found one proposal, uh, we found one proposal topic from uh, six proposal. Yes. Yeah, we spend much time to choose what topic we should do. Okay. But we, we have a common idea. Okay. Then we know that we, uh, there are three questions in one of the proposal. Okay. Uh, we have done these uh, three questions, but we haven't done the question what is expand from 
the um, master copy, copy, uh, copy pressure. Okay. So in this week, we will be a time to finish date for the um, complete part. Okay. So what is the topic selected? Ah, uh, and uh, our topic is what is RSS. Oh, what is RSS? Okay, that's good enough. Thank you. So you may pass the microphone to the table next to you. Hi, Joe. Hi. I'm the engineer and Joe is a Okay. And we have already chosen uh, a topic that is IT. Okay. But we're going to talk more about uh, IT in medical use, just okay. like using all the uh, artificial organs or animals. Wow, it's very interesting. Uh, we have already had our meeting and we have already solved the first question. Okay. Is, uh, how can animals help us to help? How can animals help us if we are sick or not? Okay. And actually, I don't have the problem right now, so I'm, I'm really. Here. It's okay. It's a good question. And we are going to solve our second question this week. And we are going to start making the PowerPoint. Okay. So, uh, any particular things on meetings? Uh, actually, it's okay because we are using online chat rooms. Okay. Chat, and we are meeting in person. So okay. Make sure you do not forget the wiki. It's very important. Team wiki on the Moodle environment. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. So uh, let's see, we have gone through one round of the team's sharing. Let me look at the clock now. So we have 10 minutes left in the first half an hour. So I'll give you this 10 minutes to go through some of the readings of the team sharing and see when we come to the second round, starting at 3.35, actually the 15 minutes in that case, see if you have anything else to add, okay? It's very important that you learn how to pick up from the sharing from your fellow students.
Now, do not forget you have a wiki to fulfill a okay? learning project number three. The wiki is very important. Okay? The wiki.
Okay, time to go because the other class is waiting outside. So, if you have any problem with your wiki, make sure you let me know. Okay? So, that's it for today's Serious uh, Stream 114, section 2 Web Technology Live on November 15, 2013. Okay?